You think we'll be able to see that? No. Maybe. Maybe. Ugh. Oh no. Oh well, okay, well, I guess what this means is, did you do anything for the podcast or is it just on my channel? No, it's on there. It has a name. So you didn't do anything else for it? No, it's got a name. Crap. Uh, Mindsets right. and happiness. Simple minds. So, what I think we're going to do is, we're going to... Um, I brought the 6.5 out, and it's got that first focal plane scope in. Maybe, we're going to do 300 yards, and then we might do 600, but I don't think that's going to happen, because I can't see 600 yards away from here. So I think we're going to do 300 and just call it. But we're going to just shoot some, uh, make sure everything's on for deer season, and then I'm going to try shooting the ATN at 300 yards and see how that does daytime. We might use the Grendel during rifle season, I don't know. So we're just going to shoot a little bit, and uh, yeah, so I don't think it'll be too in-depth video. Uh, let's get right into it. So we're here at 300 yards, and oh. We're simple-minded and didn't check our trail camera before we got here, so I don't know how much shooting we're actually going to be doing. Uh, we will be shooting, but we got like a really nice eight-pointer on camera where we hunt at. So I think we might be leaving a little bit early and trying to get into the mountain, into the tree stand before before too long. It's two o'clock right now. Uh, ideally, we'd like to be in by three or three thirty. So. Um, we're here at 300 yards. We have a 10-inch gong down there, and I'm just—I've—I've I've never shot this monster from tactical super long range. Uh, well, this is not super long range. This is kind of like a medium range. I've never shot this monster at medium range, so I want to see how it does uh, and see how well um, I can do this shot. Because I would like to be taking this shot consistently at rifle season, because I'm—I am going to be using the 6.5 instead of my Grendel. So. Um, Let's test her out. I've got some Hornady Whitetail. It's supposed to be dropping at about 7 inches at 300 yards. So, uh, I don't I don't see it dropping that much. But, we'll see. Didn't hear it. I didn't hear it either. <laughs> Don't you love that bolt? Not the bolt, it's a stupid magazine. Oh, that's what I meant. There it went. Really? Yep. Oh, I see it swinging, but I didn't hear it. Yeah, I hit it good. I didn't aim high enough. Missed that one. hot. Well, I think I've almost got it figured out after those three shots of disruption. The grass is way too tall. This is not a very productive thing we're doing right now.
way too tall, the grass is way too high. And I got deer on my mind. So. But we're gonna try it again. I don't know what else we're gonna do. So you think the fair thing to do is, I get the next deer, unless it's Jerome. We'll flip a coin for Jerome. Flip a coin for Jerome, you get But the anything else is mine, since you got the first one. Okay. Okay, hold on a second. Now, let's just, let's just get this over with right now. How are we doing the coin flip? Is it the next person? So if we go out there, are we flipping it each time we go out there? Or are we going to flip it now, and that's only for tonight's hunt? Uh, I don't know. I say we switch it up. That makes it more exciting. So you say we flip it for tonight's hunt for Jerome. Yeah, every and then every, every hunt, other hunt we flip on who gets every hunt we flip for who gets Jerome. Every hunt we flip, or every hunt the other person gets it. So like, if you get oh, it, oh, it just rotates. So you, you yeah, know, let's do that. That's more fair. Because you could win 15 coin tosses in a row. Okay. So it f switches every time. Deal. Just for Jerome, everything else is still normal. Okay. Kind of doesn't matter because it goes in both their freezers. Right. All right. So your heads or tails? Pick a number between 1 and 100. I got mine in my head. What's yours? 70. 70 minus 23. Tell Siri to pick a number between 1 and 100, and that's who chooses heads or tails. Oh, gosh. Hey, Siri. Pick a number between 1 and 100. A random number between 1 and 100 is 100. What'd you say? 100. 100? 100. So that's you. So you get to pick heads or tails. Oh, gosh. I'm going to pick heads. Hey, Siri. Flip a coin. Heads. Ha! Heads? Yeah. Ah, you got it tonight. Oh, boy. <laughs> I mean, you get it. Yeah, but he's probably going to come around in the morning. Well, you'll be up there next Saturday morning anyway. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I will be or not. All right, let's get three more shots in. And I don't know what else I'm going to do. I would like to be able to hit that thing consistently, though. I can hardly see it. That's the problem. I'm shooting through grass. Dinger, baby. Did I hit it? I thought I heard it. I thought I did too. You want to give her a go? Sure. All right. Oof. I thought this thing kicked a lot more than that. That muzzle break, Richard. You see this freaking cannon? I didn't kick at all. I used to hate shooting this thing. No. This thing does good now. No, no moss. Is it in this? Yeah. <laughs> you don't kick at all now that it's got the muzzle brake on it. I'm going to lose that four for four and spicy nugs sweating. <laughs> I think I always pull real bad the first time I shoot a gun. Other side. Because uh, just, I like, get nervous. You get nervous? One time I hit myself in the eye with my 308 when I was with Jared. Smoked the sucker, but. You can't do that. What? You gotta put it in the mag? Yeah, or you gotta take the mag out and do it, I think. It's stupid. I, it's worth paying $400 for a new chassis.
Where are you putting that dot at? Or that hash mark? Where are you telling me? Dead center? <laughs> I keep thinking this scope is garbage. Well, you're on like... No, 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 it's not. Hold, hold on, let me find it. That's not what I was going to say. I was going to say, I keep thinking this scope's garbage because it looks horrible. You know why I just figured out it looks so horrible? Because you're looking through grass? Yeah, it's the grass. It's like when you, you know how when you take a picture on a camera and something's really, really close and the background just looks like, like blurry? It looks exactly like that. Oh, I agree. From grass. Alright, ready? A big old dinger on him. Oh, today. I just get a little nervous, you know. It's like a first date, shooting it for the first time. Yeah. Performance anxiety. That's <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. All right, where's the 308? Dang it. Are you just gonna show us how it's done? Yeah, I'm gonna offhand it. No, you're not. You really gonna offhand it? No. That was my first shot. Oh, you shot through the target. Not the target, but the the steel thing. That's brand. That's new because all the other new ones, or all the other old ones, have rust on them. Simple minds, man. Who would have done that? Cause Tom shot through the legs before. Yeah, right there. That one's brand new, isn't it? Mm-hmm. What an idiot. Who would do such a thing? Sweet. Well, I guess I, I'm, I'm happy. I at least know where the Grindel's shooting, or, or the 6.5 Creedmoor shooting at 300 yards. And I just want to be able to feel comfortable taking that here in a few weeks. Um, we'll probably do some more videos like this. Hunter, what are you hunting with this year? Big 308? Or your, uh, I mean... Here, Probably. Put that, put that in there. Or your 7.7. Seven, seven. Nah, probably the big one for right now. Did you put the... No, put that... Oh yeah, I didn't. We're done, dude. I'm happy with what it is, and I think I've got the... Oh gosh, I hit it hard. I think I've got the... You can't see me now. And I think I've got the heart, uh, holdover held down pretty good. What are you... Are you huh? This is the nonsense I have to deal with. Um... So I know it's kind of a stupid video. It's probably us talking and probably the majority of us flipping a coin to decide who's shooting the deer tonight. But but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope you guys subscribe and stick around for more content. We do dumb stuff like this all the time. Hopefully it'll be a little bit more interesting. The grass really put a, put a damper on the shooting today. We couldn't see through our scopes half the time. And it was hot. And then we started talking about deer. And then, wow, that was a big spider. Did you see that? There's a big one right here. <laughs> One thing led to another, and now we're just going to go, we're getting ready to go back in the mountain. But, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys haven't done so already, go check it, check out Appalachian Outdoors. Let's get it focused. They got some pretty sweet hats, uh, t-shirts, everything. They sell all kinds of stuff, and they also, ugh, excuse me, they also um, do hunting content. So, uh, go check them out. They're pretty cool. Use code DELP10 to get 10% off at checkout when you buy an awesome hat like this. Focus, focus, focus. Yeah, there you go. Awesome patch hat. I love the thing. Alright, so like I said, go comment, like, and subscribe if you found the video. I, I usually say informative, but it wasn't informative. If you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. As always, take someone outdoors.